welcome back to my channel what are we doing today today we are wrapping up our deep dive into pastels gosh this was exhausting um what have i learned i know i did two paint sessions two using both the oil and the dry pastels and i know i did a review unboxing of the cinnamon the Sennelier oil pastels so I have that product reviewed to you and also I also recently got for my birthday as a birthday present to myself Windsor Newton oil pastels and two only two pen pastels because really and truly guys I don't think I need more than these okay so today we are doing the conclusion to the deep dive of pastels looking at all of this in one big fell swoop we're gonna look at the swatches and yes they are swatches and we're also gonna be looking at my workbook here this is my workbook yes it's a little glittery but this is my workbook where I did majority of my pastel work so stay tuned for that okay so let's start off first looking at the oil pastels now in the oil pastels I have a lot of hobbyist sketchbook artist kind of practice version well um grade pastels you will more call them student grade pastels i have a lot of those in my collection um starting from the crayola to some that i got in art boxes um the deluxe drawing set had some pastels studmark stedler carat pastels which are these I have sergeant art, I have pointers, I have talents, art creation, water soluble pastels, and I also have recently presented myself the Windsor Newton oil pastels. And we're going to talk about that because I just recently got those as a birthday present to myself and I did not enjoy it at all. Just to give you a heads up, I personally did not enjoy it. Maybe it's enjoyable for some people, but for me, it was horrible. And I also got the Sennelier 12 set oil pastels, which is really cool. Okay, so this is my pastel swatch book. And we first start off with the Studmark oil pastel. These beautiful babies here. This is how one look. I believe this one is the one that should be the yellow. And as you can see, there are about, call it maybe three inches in length yeah about three inches in length give or take usage let's see one I barely use looks like maybe just under three inches I'm looking at the ruler here just under three inches in length and it feels more like crayons to me really it does it's really hard now when it comes to pastels um whether it's dry or oil pastels they can i'm over here guys but it, whether it's dry or oil pastels um they come in both hard and soft versions now there is a version there you might say it is hard or soft all depending on a good medium so but these are definitely hard as you can see i'm squeezing them i'm not even making a dent in the the crayon itself um so these are definitely very very hard what i like to do with my harder pastels is i like to use them like my under drawing like when i already do a rough outline for the drawing out of maybe a light graphite or a um, one of these which is erasable colored pencils I do the actual drawing with these lightly with these harder pastels and that's what I enjoy using these for the next swatch we're looking at is the Stedler I do have a Stedler here let me see if I could find one that is not broken <laughs> Yes, one of my Stedler is broken. Um, here's a Stedler that I have here. This is the Stedler Carrot. Now, like the stud mark, the Stedler Carrot does not have 
names this is what i'm looking at stellar character does not have names they but they are again harder pastel they're a little bit more creamier than the stud mark but still very hard pastels as you can see here okay what i think i'm gonna do is just to give you like a brief uh sample of what i'm talking about when i'm talking about them being really hard as you can see there go down a bit yes right there it's a really hard pastel the pigmentation for all of them this is basically the pigment the pigmentation for them they're not very bright and it is a challenge to work with it um, let me give you my practice piece here this is actually let me see if I could bring you guys out yes there we go this is actually my practice piece here for the stud mark. And what I did basically is that I blurred them with my finger. I did a blurred with tissue. I did a, a blurred a circle and I blurred with older, odorless mineral spirits. And you know, it doesn't really have good pigmentation. I also did some blending with them. And it feels more like crayons, color mixing. And literally, this is not me just saying, okay, I have a light green. I actually did only use these three colors to mix the colors with. And I try to do some overlaying with them. Finally, I did a control piece. I call this the control piece. So with every single pass oil pastel I had, I did a painting like this. And it's supposed to be an and I did an actual testing painting with them up here and this is how it came out they're very very hard yeah this video is gonna be long guys secondly we're looking at the Stedler and again I did the same thing with the Stedler that I did carrot that I did with the stud mark Blend them out with tissue to see how they perform. As you can see, they're a bit more creamy, creamier, I could say. This is how I did my blending, my overlaying test. Again, trying to do some color mixing, see how the colors, they were a bit more creamy. This is my control testing piece. This was really nice. And this is my actual testing piece with them. So I was working with these a bit. The second paint, the second thing that I was looking at is the Crayola. This is the Crayola oil pastels. Let me get that for you. To show you, I have, I originally had the, oh, on earth. I originally had, yes. I originally had the, um, the set. The 16th set but then I saw the 28th set and so I was able to get that instead and I will be donating my 16th set to a family member of mine so this is a 28th set and the colors are really bright I must say the Crayola oil pastel is way softer and better than both the stud mark and the Stedler they were able to perform well, blending wise, color mixing wise, as you can see, and they are here. Let me grab a color for you. These are them. And so they were able to perform blending wise, color mixing wise. Um, this is my control tester piece. How they're able to perform and this is my actual testing piece with these I love how these feel on the paper and one the paper that I'm using is actual just drawing paper for the oil pastel it doesn't really have a lot of grit to it but it's satisfactory to grab the oil pastel I found and this paper is drawing paper from the you create drawing paper the next one we're looking at is sergeant art and the Sergeant Art, let me grab one. This is a Sergeant Art. They're really small. These are actually some of the smallest oil pastels that I have. 
And again, this is how it looks with the different tests that I did. The blending, I the mixing and layering. Because it was a smaller pastel and it was actually a softer pastel, um, I was able to do a lot of overlaying and blending with these. And as you can see, look how my control piece came out. And this is my testing piece. Using only the Sergeant Art. Finally, we got to the Sennelier, and these were not as soft as the Sergeant Art, I should say. They were not as soft as the Sergeant Art, but they were actually really nice to work with. If you notice, this back of this paper is barely smudged compared to the others. So, yeah. Come on, thank you. See, barely smudged compared to others. So, yeah. So there's a higher concentration of pigmentation to binder in these Sennelier. And it, because of, I guess, because of the higher concentration of pigmentation to binder, it was able to perform beautifully, masterfully well, mix, blend, layers beautifully, masterfully well. This is the control. And this is the tester. And the Sennelier are still in their box, believe it or not. I haven't took them out of the box and put them in here. And now it doesn't want to open. Yeah, these are the set I have. Yeah, I treat this like gold. So they're still kept in the box. In right here. Treat them like gold because, yeah, they're really good pastels. Um, no, we're working only with oil. I did some soft pastels, but we can do that in another video. Some dry pastels. Now, I was also thinking of the fact that um, a lot of times we say crayons as pastels and I did do the same test that I did with the Crayola crayons that I have and all I did was you know a little bit of test to see if I could smudge it with my finger a little bit of blending with the same colors and over layering and I also did a controlled piece with the Crayola did I do a no I didn't I didn't do any um so this is with the Crayola I also did the same test with the Karen Dosh Neo Color Ones because, again, I was looking at the fact that, according to the Karen Dosh website, they call these Neo Color One wax pastels. And does it behave like oil pastels? It does. Would it behave the same way? There is some smudging, if you noticed, with these. It does layer. It does blend over. But I think that has to do with the quality of these crayons. And this is my control. But because of the fact that it can't incorporate itself or mix itself readily with the other colors, my control is looks more like a crayon piece, like a coloring book than um, pastels. The other pastel that I have is the deluxe pastels, these ones. And basically this is a pastel that I got from the deluxe join set and so this is how it looks with the tester this is the control and finally did I know I did not do any um, tester with this also from my art set the world of cards the world of cars they had a section with pastels I think it came at 12 pastels and I did the same test with them I don't have those in here. I still have them in the set. This is the control. And guys, this was one of the second most, oh, no, the first. This was the first most horrible pastel to work with. As you can see how the control looks. And then I also did it with the World of Car Crayons just to make sure. And no difference. Actually, this was the second worst experience I had to work with. 
Their pastel was the first, their crayon was the second. This was from the World of Cars Pastel and Crayons Tester piece, this one here. I just incorporated the two of them together and did a tester piece with them. And this one was from the Deluxe Drawing Set Pastel Tester piece. This was actually pretty nice to work with. I actually enjoyed working with this. Um, another art set that I have is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and that came with some crayons and I wanted to test it out. And it was bad. Look at my tester. Oh, my controlled. Oh, it's bad. Um, the Sergeant Art color pencil drawing set came with some pastels. So I also test those out. And this is how it looks. This is my control. It, it looks like crayons. I couldn't do any better unless I use the... This is my tester, the mineral oil. And for most of these testes, testes, <laughs> tests, I did not use the mineral oil. This is the Pointer Premium Oil Pastels. Again, the same test. This is the color mixing. And these were really creamy to work with. These are the pointers that I'm talking about. Pointers is underneath here. Yeah, here they are. It's hard to come out, man. Thank you. These are the pointers. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I think this one is from the Deluxe Drawing Set. I'm not sure if I show the same one just now because I have them in the same... Um, my nose is burning me with all this waxy smell. Excuse me. Sorry about that. This is the control that I did. And I actually enjoy the pointers. I think the pointers and the Crayola were the two bargain friendly pastel that I actually enjoy working with. The Sergeant Art was intimidatingly too soft for me, but those were really nice to work with. This is my tester. As you can see, my tester came out beautiful. I think I even did a orange <laughs> with it. And now we are moving into the last pastel that I worked with which is the Windsor and Newton. I did work with this, but I will link the video where I featured these and I did a product review with this, so you will be able to see that. This, these are the Royal Talents Water Soluble Pastels. Now this one of all the bargain friendly pastels, I remember saying that the deluxe drawing set was the first and second two of the worst pastels that I work with. Now I'm not saying that they're bad products. It's that when it comes to how the, it was gritty, it it couldn't I couldn't even use it as crayons to be honest. It was gritty. It didn't lay the color down. It was it wasn't this one is actually the third. And it's because the Windsor Newton oil pastel, which I got actually for a birthday present to myself. Is actually inconsistent one two the color laid down is inconsistent um, blendability these basically just is I don't know it, it I just gave up and th I think this is what is activating my allergies cuz it has such a high high uh, it's not stink but it's an irritatingly high waxy scent these is the pastels that I'm talking about <laughs> secondly and it's inconsistent because not all the colors and I know I wasn't showing you guys color swatches but I do have color swatches for everything oh god my nose is burning not here's the Windsor Newton there are some of opaque, but the gritty is like this color here, the turquoise green is just gritty to work with. Some of the colors are soft, some are hard. Yeah, you see the grittiness too in the emerald green. The greens itself have a grittiness like the, what do you call it? 
the world of cars oil pastel but it's like a gritty pastiness like it wants to be them but it's just too pasty to be them and this is my and i literally this is my controlled and it took a lot of work to get this control guys it took a lot of work and this is my tester and I get it. it took a lot of work to get it because it just doesn't go together I, I don't know what's going on now I am waiting on an email from Windsor and Newton because I did email them asking them about these pastels asking them about their light fast testing I asked them about pigment names and codes because they do have names on them but they don't have pigment codes like the Sennelle, which will tell you, oh, the, ye the yellow is made from PY3 or something. These don't have it at all. Gosh. And I will show you a picture of how these look when I first got them. It had this grease all over them. I had to clean off the grease. Um, the most of the pastels was just covered in this grease. I emailed the company. I showed them the pictures of the box that I got. And it's not like I got the box from a questionable source, you know, like from a marketplace or an e-commerce site. I actually bought the box, the, the box. I actually bought the Windsor Newton Pastel from a reputable US-based franchise, art franchise. So it's not like, oh, an Amazon kind of purchase or an eBay kind of purchase. It's actually from a reputable US-based franchise. And it was bad. I'll show you pictures of how it looks and right now my nose is killing me um, I immediately took them out of the tin because they actually did came in a tin I took them out of the tin and put them in here so at least they can get them some air and I don't necessarily feel claustrophobic right now my nose is burning me and I think it's because of these pastels because they really have a high waxy smell to them but anyway guys I am suffering here and you don't need to hear me torture thank you so much for joining me on this journey um as you can see i looked at sorry about that as you can see i looked at a, a wide variety of pastels i've learned so much about them i wasn't necessarily looking to review every single pastel that was ever made but i was looking to 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 review pastels to look at pastels on an umbrella spectrum from from the very cost effective to the very cost inhibitive pastels i know there are more other brands out there like schminke um pastels i know that windsor newton actually windsor newton doesn't have much information on these pastels because according to their website these pastels should be light fast high concentrate let me get me let me get my notes here because i did write some notes on them and Windsor and Newton said that these pastels are artist grade pigment providing outstanding light fast easy application easy to blend and use they're creamy sorry about that they're creamy they're artist grade they can be used with solvent um, and that's why I ask about light fastness because that's what they claim these pastels are but man this 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 these pastels are torture right now I am actually torturing right now with these um for the stud mark the stud mark i the 12 count i believe they come in a range of 12 count i cannot find them beyond that range so i'm thinking that's as far as they come for the pointers i can't find any other presentation of them on the internet so i'm thinking that they actually do come in a 12 count range um the Crayola, the only one I found is 28. The one that came in a very high range is the Sennelier. That comes with 120 colors. And I only have 12 of those. Oh gosh, this, these pointers are getting to me. And um, I think that's it. Uh, Sergeant Art color. Yeah, those come with only six in the set. So I'm thinking that's all there is to the Sergeant Art. Mm, guys, this thing is torturing me. I gotta stop. So I've been looking at these. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Let me put this thing away so I can breathe again. And as always, <coughs> oh, sorry. I am so sorry.
<laughs> and as always, stay safe, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.